What's up guys, it's the Mosin Dude here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my 13.7 rifle build and comparing that to the 16 inch flat dark earth build I did a couple years ago. Threw a couple of specs together for you guys uh, and then I'll also throw some of the uh, pros and cons that I feel of each and uh, which one I prefer in the end. So uh, let's get into the specs themselves. So the weight of this 13.7 rifle as you see here is uh, eight pounds right on the dot. I was kind of shocked by that. Um, but it came out to be eight pounds. I weighed it several times and uh, yeah, the overall length is 33 and a half inches the way I have it set up here. Uh, I run my stock on the third position, uh, I believe, or it might be the fourth. Uh, either way, this is how it's, uh, how it's lined up. And then also I have that 16 inch on the same, uh, same position stock. So yeah, I have a full in-depth video on this rifle. If you want to check that out, I'll link that in the description. Uh, going through every part and everything like that that makes out this rifle uh, the way it is. So like I said, 33 and a half inches compared to 35 and a half inches. Um, so that little two inches makes a little difference, some people might say. Uh, personally, I don't think size matters, but we won't get into that. Uh, but with that being said, uh, it just feels uh, longer. It just feels like a lot longer of a, a rifle compared to that 13.7. I'll get some... Uh, I'll roll in some pictures of me holding both these rifles and you can kind of see um, and I'll try to give you a side-by-side -side comparison best I can um, but yeah this one like I said overall is 35 and a half inches and the weight of this rifle as is was 7.6 pounds so four tenths of a pound difference uh, the only really main differences that the 13.7 has over this one is the flashlight and the offset red dot otherwise the rifles are basically identical as far as their functionality goes uh, and then obviously different barrel lengths, stuff like that. So, what do I think? Uh, comparing the two, I have shot that 13.7 now. I've had it for probably seven to eight months. Shot just about uh, probably a thousand rounds through it. And then I've also shot a lot of 22 uh, through both of these rifles. Um, so mechanically, I have a lot of uh, experience with them. Um, but with you know 5.56 being what it is these days, 2.23, hard to find. I haven't shot that much um, through this rifle. Um, probably, like I said, it was about a thousand rounds. I think it was like 900 to a thousand rounds, somewhere in there. Um, but flawless, uh, the 13.7, this one uh, is a Roscoe barrel and it has the mid-leak gas system, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is rather pleasant to shoot. It's not as pleasant as like a 20 inch uh, rifle with the front side, uh, front side block, but um, being what it is, it's actually a pretty controllable rifle. So yeah, this 13.7 with the mid leak gas system is actually really controllable. It's pleasant to shoot. It, uh, with this war comp, actually shoots really nice. And uh, yeah, I don't really have any complaints with this. I don't think I would do anything different uh, to this rifle, um, except for the, the way it was pin and welded. Um, as you guys may have seen in my last video, the pin and weld is done with a crush washer and some shims. Uh, I do want to mount a suppressor to this. Uh, Derek, actually, as the guy's YouTube handle, uh, actually told me, uh, why my gunsmith said the crush washer was bad and that's because it can cause alignment issues and uh, cause a baffle strike uh, yeah baffle strike um, basically which your suppressor is not in line with your barrel bullet goes straight suppressors curved they don't line up obviously and uh, bullet strikes the internals of your suppressor which you don't want it messes up the suppressor could also cause cash strike failure um, typically baffle strikes aren't too bad but you know why would you want to do that to your suppressor so I will probably end up redoing this pin and weld down the road, um, but for now, uh, she's running good. So uh, I guess while I wait on a tax stamp would be the time that I would replace that. But yeah, compared to the 16 inch rifle, this rifle is just so much more wieldy. I don't know if that's just uh, like a psychological thing. I think that's what it is. I, you know, it's kind of the ugly truth um, is that I think it's just psychological. It is two inches shorter, the rifle overall, as I have them set up. Um, but I think it's more psychological than it is anything. Um, you can't really, I mean, two inches on a rifle like this. If you want to do like room clearing and stuff like that, I would suggest just build an AR pistol. Um, but if you want a rifle that is maneuverable and uh, can still reach out and touch things, I think 13.7 is the way to go. Uh, you're still getting excellent ballistics out of this uh, barrel. Um, so I don't think that's really an issue for you to worry about. Um, the 16 inch, obviously you're gonna get the full ballistic capability out of the uh, 223, 5.56. Uh, caliber. I should mention both of these barrels or chambers, excuse me, are 223 wild. 
Um, so I can shoot both of those calibers accurately, or rounds, I should say, the 223 and the 5.56 NATO can shoot both of them pretty accurately. And I have, um, as you guys may have seen in uh, some of my other videos with this rifle, but, um, you know, if you guys are on the fence about 13.7, I say drop the money and invest in a nice rifle. Uh, I have like $2,300 in this, and I'm not saying that to flex or anything. I'm just giving you guys like a baseline with everything you see here. Um, so yeah, take that with what you will and uh, drop those questions down in the comment section below. I enjoy sticking around and uh, learning from you guys and then also helping you guys out. Um, a lot of people are interested in these builds. So if you have any questions, things I didn't answer from this uh, video, drop those down below and I'll get back to you um, just about any time. So if you post this a year down the road, I'll still try to get back to you. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of my 13.7 rifle build um, compared to this 16 inch FTE build that I did a couple years ago. And uh, let me know what you think below. Guys, always, thanks for watching. And uh, always remember where you came from and to stay humble. It's Mosin Dude, and we'll see you on the next video.